Hello, welcome back to Bookstack. I'm Joshua Hansen. On this channel, we are working to become more capable people so we can move towards achieving our goals and aspirations. Today, I want to talk to you about a mental bias which may be preventing you from really coming to a true understanding of the things that you're reading and studying. Have you ever found yourself when you go to explain what you've just learned to someone, something that you feel like you really have a true understanding of, and you try to teach it to another person and you find that you're not really able to explain it, you feel like you're missing a few pieces and it's just not quite coming out correctly? If that's the case, you may be suffering from something called the mere exposure effect. What this effect essentially is saying is that we can get a false sense that we understand something merely because we've been exposed to it. We may have watched a video on it, read a book, heard it on a podcast, read it on a blog, and we've been exposed to it, right? We, we are familiar with the information, we've heard the stories, we've seen the examples, and we think, you know what, I got that, that makes perfect sense. But then you go to apply it, explain it, teach it to someone else, and you realize, I don't really have as good a grasp on this as I thought I did. That's because merely being exposed to information doesn't really lead to a true, complex, and fundamental understanding of that information. And this can really affect us negatively in two ways. One is we can have an over uh, assertive sense of confidence in the position that we hold be merely because we've been exposed to it. Secondly, we develop a preference for information that we're familiar with. And we'll talk about how this can affect us negatively here in just a moment. But in certain psychological circles, this is called a familiarity bias. Whenever we're introduced to something for the first time, it can be scary, it can make us anxious, it can really cause us to be skeptical about whatever it is we're being presented. But research has shown that the more we're exposed to a certain set of stimuli or information, the more it's repeated and the more we see it, the more familiar and the more comfortable and accepting we become of it and we begin to develop a preference for it. This is part of the reason why Coca-Cola has to make a million commercials, right? They are the, the, the leader in the, in the soda industry, but they're still pumping out ad after ad after ad. Why? Because they want to keep that familiarity that you have with them because the more familiar you are with their product, the stronger your preference for their product will be. And this can lead to something called a confirmation bias, which is we begin to see and prefer information which confirms other information or beliefs that we're already familiar with. And this can lead us down all sorts of bad roads and kind of put a mental block in place that if someone comes along and tries to present us with new information, which confronts the things that we have a preference for, we'll shun them and we'll shut them out. And we won't allow that new information to come in and change our minds because we have this mere exposure effect. So how can we kind of combat this mere exposure effect? A couple of things. One is we can really dive into the subject and really get down into the nitty gritty of the detail. We can read something more complicated than a simple blog post or a, a news article on the subject. Because sometimes we have uh, an over-reliance on other people relaying the information to us. We're hearing it from a third party. We're not going back to primary sources. We're not really digging into uh, what the actual science was or what the actual information was or what the primary sources were actually saying. Secondly, we need to take time to write out our thoughts. As we're learning something, take time to write things out and ask yourselves questions. Do I really understand what this means? What does this word mean? How does this relate to this other piece of information? Ask yourself questions and see if you can answer them. And then, you know, we employ what's called the Feynman technique. Richard Feynman, one of the greatest scientists of all time, one of my scientific heroes, uh, he had a technique, again, of digging down to the very bedrock of information, getting all the way back to first principles. And from that first principle, he would even try to recreate the research and the conclusions based off his understanding of the first principles. From that fundamental understanding, could he follow logically the argument back up to what was being presented by the research? And then to make sure he truly understood it, he would take the opportunity to teach that information to someone else. And if he couldn't explain it in a way that the, another person could understand it, then he would question whether or not he actually understood it himself. This is something Benjamin Franklin actually would do. He would read an article and a couple of days later, he would try to, from memory, rewrite the article. And if he could, and he could follow the argument and recreate it on his own, simply from memory, he would then say, hey, maybe I do understand what this person's trying to say. If he couldn't recreate the argument, he would go back and reread it until he was able to see exactly how the arguments and everything kind of flowed logically together. So if you're trying to learn something, be aware of the mere exposure effect. Just know that just because you've read something 
something and you've seen it a couple of times, don't mistake that for true understanding. Seek to follow the arguments all the way back to first principles and see if you can recreate the argument from scratch. And then lastly, follow that Feynman technique, uh, try to get all the way back to first principles, recreate the argument like Franklin did, and then take the opportunity to try to teach that to someone else. And if you're able to do so in simple, plain language with like really good analogies and metaphors, then perhaps you really do have a good understanding and you've arrived at the place where you have a true understanding and not just a mere exposure effect. All right, so I hope these tips helped you in your journey to learn and to grow and to be better, become more capable so that you're able to reach for your dreams and aspirations and create meaningful things of true value that you can then help other people as well. Thank you for watching so much. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'd like to know in the comments what you're trying to learn, where you're kind of struggling, what you're pursuing. Would love to hear more about it. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.